So, Beat Edit for DaVinci Resolve can create for you in one click these beat markers that you can see here at each beat of your song, and it can also create this beat click audio here. But there's also something that DaVinci Resolve 18.1 and newer can create for you to visualize the beats if you are here in the Fairlight panel. So, not in the normal editing panel here, but in the Fairlight panel, you've got this beat grid here. By default, it shows one line per frame, but when you click on this note here, you can enter beat information to create lines which line up accurately with the beats of the music. So these lines are similar to the beat markers that BeatEdit can create. They have some dis disadvantages compared to the markers, mostly that they are only available in this panel and not in the other ones, whereas the markers you can see are also available here for editing, but still they are pretty nice since you can snap to them and so on. So if you want to set up your grid with speed edit, it's super easy. In the time scale option, you choose this note symbol here and for the resolution and time signature, you can usually keep the default values. So resolution just says that you want to see four lines per bar and the time signature says that your song is in 4-4 time, which is almost always the case. Now the big question is what values to use for tempo and song start. And if you don't know what tempo your song has, or you don't need to know the song start, and be aware that song start is not really the start of the audio file, but the occurrence of the first beat in the song, you find those very easily with Beat Edit. So let's launch Beat Edit here, and we just choose the audio file we want to use. So this is the song, and we open it. And now when the beat detection is finished, beat edit shows me the tempo is 90 BPM and the song start is as 112702. So if we go back here to the settings, tempo of 90, song start at 112702. And with these values you get a grid which aligns exactly with the actual beats of the song. And you can also see if we play back the song and you look here at this tempo. One, two. Three, four. It nicely counts the tempo uh, you, you have in your song here. Yeah? So figuring out these numbers is now no magic anymore because BeatEdit shows them to you directly once you loaded the song. If you wonder about the accuracy of that, if we zoom in here very close, you can see that these clicks, this is a beat click sound created with BeatEdit. You can see now I'm muted. Now it's here and you can notice it's accurately fitting to the song. This is the most accurate thing you can get. If you zoom in here very closely, you can see that the beat click is a bit earlier than the marker here and uh, this line. And this is because the markers and these beat lines are limited to frame borders or the song start actually here. This value is limited to frames. It cannot be in between frames, right? If you enter here one, let's see what's happened. Now you can see the line is way before the beat, the actual beat. And if you go to two, you can see it's a little bit behind it. So it's really like in between those frames is the beat, it's exactly here, and uh, this is the closest you can get to the actual beat position. But it's not a big deal if you, uh, so for most things, uh, having frame accuracy is uh, good enough. And if you need to be more accurate, you've got the beat clicks that Beat Edit gives you too. So that's how easy it is really to create an accurate beat grid with Beat Edit. And I'm sure you're going to have a lot of fun with this amazing tool.